Welcome back, folks, to another installment of Quick Clip Tips. Welcome back again, folks. Do you know that when you adjust your truss rod, oh, this is for acoustic. I don't know so much about electric, if it affects them much. It might affect the sustain a little bit. On acoustic, it, it makes a great deal of difference. When you got to set your neck relief, or you, well, you got to adjust your truss rod for any reason whatsoever, okay? Anything that you got to do to the truss rod. Here's the tip. Loosen that rod. Always loosen it first under all conditions. Always loosen it first. Don't stick a wrench in there, and, and even if it's an eighth of a turn, don't do it. Don't tighten it first. Always loosen it first, okay? Here's the tip. If you're setting your whatever you're doing, loosen the rod more than you need it to be, okay? And then tighten it back up to the point where you need it. If you're setting your neck relief, whatever, loosen the rod. Let's say you're setting your neck relief at 12 thousandths, okay? 12 thousandths. Loosen the rod, go uh, way beyond 12 thousandths, have a lot more than that in it, and then tighten it back up until you get up to 12 thousandths. Uh, it, it's the way vibrations are carried and the tightness of fittings of things and you know, it's true with glue joints and everything else. Uh, tightening it up, the guitar will always sound better. And, and acoustics, you'll notice this a lot more than you will on electric. So it, probably it affects, like I say, sustain on electric guitars as well, I would think. But uh, in any case, I would recommend Always loosen the rod, go looser than you need to be, looser than where you want, whatever you're doing, and then tighten it back up to where you need to be, and you'll see a big difference in the sound of your guitar, especially if it's an acoustic guitar. Probably you get a little better sustain on an electric, I don't know, but try it. You'll see what I mean. Thanks for watching. You think that'll look okay?